the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Amen. I stand before you today, amen, to uh, remind you, amen, of the anniversary that's coming up on March 13th. That's our pastor's anniversary. Amen. A lot of you haven't heard, or a lot of you have missed it, but I'm here to inform you again today. Amen. And as we are uh, preparing for this anniversary, it's the second Sunday in March, March 13th. Mark the date. Amen. Amen. We're asking all of our members and friends to participate. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And we have already set an assessment for us. Amen. And that will be $75 in case you haven't heard. Mm -hmm. And if you're having problems, just come see me. I don't want you to stay home. Come and see me. Amen. Because we're celebrating the man of God.
judgment is passed over from my God. Has thou not known? My God. Has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, feedeth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. Say it. He gives power to the faith and to them that have no mind. He increases strength. Even the youths shall faint. Woo, God, I thank you. And be weary. And the young men, oh God, shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew. That strength, they shall murder oh God, with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be with them. Oh, they shall walk and not faint. Church say yeah. yeah. Church say yeah. yeah. If I use for a soft top, my thought simply says, just trust him. Just trust him. Can you look at somebody and say, put your finger at him and say, just trust him. Say it. I've been preaching about the rapture. I've been preaching about the future events. I've been preaching about the tribulation. We've been teaching about the millennium. And after the rapture, after the tribulation, after the millennium, then there's heaven. But somebody said, Pastor, that's the future. What about now? God says, just trust me. See it. Yeah. Somebody said, Pastor, you don't know what I'm going through. You don't know what I heard from the doctor. But I stopped by to tell somebody, just trust him. Just trust him. Don't know what you're going through. I don't know how hard it is for you. But God says, just trust me. See it. I don't know how he's going to do it. I don't know when he's going to do it. But somebody shout, God is going to do it. 
He didn't say when. He's going to do it. He didn't say how. He's going to do it. But I'm going to trust him. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stay right here. And I'm going to trust him. I heard, I heard Job say, though he slid, say that. I can't even trace it sometimes. I don't know how I'm coming out. But Job said, though he slid it, yet I'm going to trust him. Some trust in horses. Some trust in chariots. But I will trust in the name of the Lord. Uh, how many know the name of the Lord is a strong time and the righteous run and they are safe. Uh, open your mouth and say, just trust me. Uh, come to tell you something. We're, uh, as you read the beginning of this chapter, you read all the first 39 chapters, you find that Israel was in captivity. Uh huh. Yeah, for their wrongdoing, they were in captivity. Uh huh. But God told Isaiah, flip the strip. Come on and see. Yeah. Flip the strip and tell my children that warfare is over. Yeah, yeah. They were still in the midst of it. Huh. But God said, I need you to encourage them huh? yeah. and tell them the warfare is over. Huh? Yeah. I have forgiven them yeah. for their sins. Yeah. Huh? In fact, they have received double for the wrongdoing. Yeah. Huh? But shout and tell them the warfare is over. Yeah. Huh? So I stopped by and see Paul huh? yeah. to tell somebody, yeah. although you're going through. Huh? Yeah. Ha. Although the pain is still there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ha. Although your back might be against the wall. Ha. But God said it's over. Ha. Come on and say it. Ha. I said God said it's over. Ha. Yeah, you're still in the middle of it. Ha. But you ought to praise it because you're about to come out. Ha. And God said all you got to do is trust me. Ha. The children of Israel thought that God had forgotten them. Huh? And they began to cry in 27. And they said, the Lord has forgotten us. Huh? He doesn't care what happened to us. Huh? He doesn't bring judgment against our evil tools. Huh? Come on and say it. Huh? Sometimes, huh? I don't care how saved you are. Huh? I don't care how much Holy Ghost you think you got. Huh? The devil that slew for the demon huh? will speak to your ear. Huh? And the devil will tell you huh? God has forgotten you. Huh? The devil will tell you what's to you. Huh? The devil will tell you to give up. Huh? He'll tell you to throw in the towel. Huh? That devil will even tell you God doesn't love you. Huh? But I stopped by to tell somebody, God has not forgotten you. Come on and say it. God has not forgotten you. Say it. He's still holding you. He got you covered from front to back. And I heard Isaiah said, what you talking about? Why would you say that? Why would you think that God has forgotten you? Has thou not known? Has thou not heard? You mean to tell me out of all you've been through? Out of all the stuff God has brought you through? You mean to tell me you don't know that God is a deliverer? You mean to tell me you don't know that God is a miracle worker? Out of all the hell you've been through? Look through your portfolio. See it. Yeah. And look back and see where God has brought you from. You mean to tell me you don't know what God can do? Somebody tell the devil too late. I've already tried it. And I know that he's able. And I know that he's able. Have thou not known? Not even heard. Come on and see it. You mean to tell me you've been coming to 
church uh, Sunday after Sunday uh, and you never heard anybody uh, talk about the goodness of the Lord uh, and I not know
don't you curse every day. The devil know not to tell me that. Now, now I ain't gonna lie. He'll whisper me in my ear. Oh, yeah, he will. God don't love you. Yes. I don't care what you speak in tongues. And, and, and guess when the devil does it? Right after you get off your high. Right after you start praising God. Right after you start thanking God. She gonna look like after everything is going so good. Things are going so fine. The devil step right in. He will try to mess it up. And then he said, look at you. God don't care about you. But I turn around and tell that devil, you a liar. And the truth ain't in you. Search 
mercy. For his understanding. Can you say it with me? There is no searching of his understanding. Guess what that means, mother? You can't put him in a box. That means you can't define God. We try to define him. We try to put him in a box. See it? And we try to define him as a healer. But look at your neighbor and say he's more than a healer. Ah, come on, get mercy. Somebody say, well, he's my savior. But he's more than my savior. See it? The old folks said he's a bridge ah, over trouble. Ah. Yahweh ain't saying nothing. Ah. And then they turn around and say he's water. Ah. You can't define him. You can't put him in a box. Say it. Say it. He's my bill payer. But I don't know how my bill's going to be paid. How the bill's going to be paid. You don't pay your bill. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Oh, 
said when I call, you don't come. I'm going to wait, but I'm going to wait with y'all. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait with patience. Bro, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait with a dancing girl. Say yeah.
another day. I can't make it another hour. I can't live like this. God, please take it away. But guess what?
Because y'all like to say anything, God bless you. And y'all. So I enjoyed this service, brother. So grateful. What's your name? Yes. What's your name? God bless you, brother. What's your name? Danny? You're from the community. Yeah, I'm from the community. I just thank the Lord for Yes, brother. Hi. Yes, Sunday. Yes. So that's the thing that and so I'm just good. Yes. Everything is everything will get back to you. Yes. We encourage. We love you. Back again. God's got great things in store for you. Hallelujah. You know what? The devil has looked at everyone's future. He sees that everything is so much better for you. But he's trying to discourage you. He's sending you the distraction. He wants you to give up. Somebody shout, I come too far. Somebody shot them all in. Whatever it takes. I'm all in now. I ain't playing around the edge. I ain't playing around the edge. I'm all in. I'm going through. Anybody going through this time? Yes. So grateful for you. So, set for Sunday. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the prison. Come on, bro. I know you got for about an hour, but yes. amen, we give God a praise and thanks amen. Amen. for being here, my family, the brother and family, everybody in every respectful place, but I have a testimony. Go ahead, brother. You know, uh, they married my nephew yesterday, amen, and, but you know I had my sister-in-law, mm -hmm. I had my nephew, and I had my niece, and I had my two daughters, my three daughters, my son, wife, I call her my daughter, yeah, and my son. Right. And you know, just on last night, uh -huh. my niece came in and my, my daughter was witnessing to her, I guess, about the whole day long. I don't know, my, you know, just on like, like stretching a little bit, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, when she finished witnessing to her and telling her about how good God is, and yes, sir. God can relieve you and he can set you free oh, from the Jesus. Care of the world and the thing that help you bond. Yes. And she began to cry after the Lord. And I was in there doing my study, you know. Sister brothers, they all know that I have got certain hours and certain times that I'm going, right. and I give God His time. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. But she came in my room last night. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I could see that she was ready with a cup track mind, trunk track mind. She was ready to give her heart to the Lord. Hallelujah. And she began to start crying. My daughter began to start witnessing to her. Yes. And letting her know that she had been convicted and she'd been, hallelujah, by, by evil spirits. Hallelujah. Come on, so we began to start calling on the name of Jesus. Don't try to know what it is here in Hallelujah. And she began to start calling on Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know my daughter is with the midwife. Hallelujah, she continued all on the floor. Yes. And when she began to start crying out of yes. And I began to start crying out of walking and back and forth to and from crying out of God. Hallelujah. And, she, and all of a sudden, my daughter said, Get out of me in the name of Jesus. You know that demon? He began to start crying. Oh, what kind of demon is not so demon to nobody? Hallelujah. But my daughter pointed her finger in that demon face. Come on, come on. Get out of her face. Hallelujah. You have no control. You have no rule over her. And all of a sudden, hallelujah, she began to stop. Woo! Like the day on Pentecost. Yes, sir. She began to stop beating in her tongue. Let's go. 
never be the same again. Let them come on in poverty. They will never be the same anymore. And all of a sudden, my, my sister in law said, I want to be baptized. <laughs>
y'all went to the club, y'all didn't have steak. When you went to the club, you didn't have steak. So why are you trying to have you here? Why are you trying to get you here? Why are you trying to get you here? Why are you trying to get you here? Thank you. 